Hi there, my name is Mike and this is my amazing wife Jessica and we love movies just as much as you do. Also, we're both independent filmmakers here in Los Angeles and if you join our Patreon community, you will not only get early access to our reaction videos, but you also become part of the Boss family and therefore become part of our movie making adventure. Oh yeah, it's exciting stuff. So subscribe to the channel and click the link below to check out our Patreon page. And now, let's get started. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being back for another movie reaction. Um, it was a pretty good day today. Yeah. We got email confirmation that the color grading of our third movie is finally finished. And that's a movie that Jessica actually wrote. Mm -hmm. We co-produced and she actually directed the film and starred in it as the lead role. So I'm sure you're pretty happy that this post-production phase is finally coming to an end. Yes, I am. I, I'm really excited because it's been a long time coming. A passion of mine to just spread a little awareness of trafficking. So yeah, um, yeah we're thankful yeah. for that. And um, speaking of movies, what are we watching today? I have no idea. Um, we're going to talk more about your movie on Patreon. But oh, today yeah. we're watching I Only Imagine or something. I can only imagine. I can only imagine, exactly. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't know who is in it. I know it's about some guy who writes a song for his father or something. I don't know. That's well, all I know. I know it's that, that's a famous song. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm sure I heard it before. Yeah. So, ready? Ready. All right. Let's get started. Okay. And action. I can only imagine that song. Yeah, I probably heard it before, but I don't know how it came into existence. Thank you. I found a song that saved me through a time. You know how music does that? It rescued me. And I just kept wondering, who could write this? What did they have to go through to be able to give this gift to me? It's an amazing song. I have a feeling this is going to be a tearjerker. <laughs> Just kind of happened. <laughs> Lyrics took about 10 minutes, I guess. Music took about the same. Bart, you didn't write this song in 10 minutes. It took a lifetime. Mm. It's like an overnight success takes 20 years. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Exactly. Greenville, Texas. I'm not, I'm from Texas. I have no idea where that is. Greenville. Bart. Bart. Looks <laughs> to me, you've been out here all day. Oh, that's how they got the name of the band. Mercy me. I've always wondered what that meant. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Just realized that the problem is. I have to cut out most of the music because of copyright stuff. Ah. Uh. It's all about the song. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter what band. You, know. you might be interested in this band. It was one of the greatest concerts I've ever seen. No. No football. Mm -mm. Oh no, not the trophies. Uh, Dennis Quaid. Hey, hon. What you got there? It's a fighter helmet that I made during a big battle in space. I'm gonna teach you something, Bart. Dreams don't pay the bills. Nothing good comes from it. Dreams don't pay the bills? That's what he said? Mm -hmm. Sounds like Switzerland. It does, yeah. You understand that? Huh? Yes, Daddy. Dang. Aww. Why do people have to do stuff like that to their kids? That's so mean. Anchor. Mm hmm. Dang. Sounds like our neighbors. Oh boy. Oh, he has a belt. Mm. But 
lucky for once. So the dad was just gonna beat him just for no reason. Maybe. What? Shh. It's okay. It's called Camp Glorietta. Church down the street takes kids there. It's a fun camp. I always loved going to summer camp. Alright, I can do that soon. Hey. You know I love you, right? I'm I'm Bart. My friends like you call me Bart. I know. <laughs> I'm Shannon. Duh. It's Duh. Totally safe. Oh, 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 oh. You coming? <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic looking hot dog. Oh, mm hmm gonna go sit by the lady, the little girl. <laughs> nice to meet you, Bart. Hey, bro. This is the cup game. Campers, up here. So I'm Rusty. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the youth pastor at Greenville Baptist. So if you didn't bring your journals, come up here. We got one for you. You're gonna need it for your session tonight. So is that like a diary or? Uh, kind of, but there's more to it. Helps to get my thoughts ordered, prayers, problems, dreams, stuff I imagine sometimes. Uh, can I see? No. Sorry, I didn't know. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I heart Bart Miller. Why are you dressed like that? We're sneaking out. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? An artist? Eh, a football player. That's what my dad was. He was really good, actually. Famous in college. Bert, I'm terrified you saw this written in my journal. Did you? <laughs> no. What are you talking about? Aww. You're lying. You saw every word, didn't you? <laughs> that song from that took him. Maybe. Well, then here goes. You know what I think? I think that someday we're going to fall in love, get married, and that's our destiny. Whoa. And I'm mortified. I'm going to walk on the sun. Makes the guy run camp. away. Wait, wait, wait. Shannon, please stay. Why? Afraid of monsters? I just don't like being alone. Aww. Oh, that reminds me of fi uh, 4th of July. Always sitting on oh. the roof. Oh! Come on, kids. Bart, Bart! Here, it's my favorite. Sweet. And I want to be a singer just like her someday. Thank you so much. My parents are here to pick me up. Oh, this is you. Well, it was good to meet you, Bart. Well, we'll see. <gasps> hey. Where's Mama? She ran off. She ain't coming back. Just you and me now. When will she be back? I told you she run off. She don't want me no more, and she don't want you neither. You hurt her, Daisy! Hey, you hurt her like you hurt me! Hey! Dang! Nothing. That's what I did! Nothing! She left because of you, not the kid. That's for sure. She call now and then. So what did you do? I tried to get good at the only thing my dad really cared about. Mm, hey there. Hey there, darling. That's so great. Get over here now. <laughs> I love you. I know. Hey. 
give me a second. It's oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, he better be careful because the kid has grown up and he looks pretty, like, muscular. To get you down on the ground, how many did it take? Just one. It's just one. practice, yeah. Nobody could never bring me down. Took the whole football team. Kind of reminds me of your father. Not abusive, but, you know, stubbornness. <laughs> not made for football. It's not what he's supposed to be doing. I said you can't play. Mm. For how long? Ever. That's a long time. Yeah, I'd say. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. I hate when parents are so unsupportive. Graduating high school is not stupid. You just have to pick an elective to replace football. Ever have aspirations of being a seamstress? Well, that's full, so... <laughs> they're, like, hmm. all full. Except this one. What? Clee Club. Would you? Ooh, yeah! <laughs> the wrong room. I wish. You sing? Nope. I don't turn anyone away. Our new assistant technical director. All right. I don't know what that is. <laughs> mm, he's funny. Charming. Now this I can do. It looks like some old equipment. It's all dusty. He's good. Hey, congrats, Bart. What? Way to go, Miller. La. Congratulations. Uh-uh. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? I can't do this. I didn't even try out. You can, and you will. Millers do not sing. You have a gift, Bart. And in my class, you will be required to use it. Or fail. There is no <laughs> way, ever, at all, ever, that you are going to get me on that stage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come to decent stage. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> He's really good. That can't be his real voice. <laughs> Sounds of natural talent. Maybe. Yeah. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful. Oh. Oh. Sir, you need to understand it's hospital policy. Well, you can't keep me here. I'm free to go. Stubborn. No, you're not. Ooh. On your MRI, we discovered a mass. We believe it's cancer. Oh, no. oh you're right. No. No, don't. We'd like to run a few more tests. Am I going? <clears throat> Mr. Millard, if you refuse treatment, it could drastically reduce your chances. He's so stubborn, he refuses to have cancer. What happened? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just fine. Mr. Miller, are you okay? I'm Shannon, Bart's girlfriend. Oh, how'd Bart wind up with somebody as pretty as you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was over at the diner and I, and I fell down. And actually I was looking at your name on an advertisement for play. Didn't think you'd want to come. Don't we'll talk about it later. It's fine. Just let me drive you home. Oh, or something. No. You, you, you take care of your pretty girl there. You're up early? Made my son breakfast. What's with the get up? You want to do a funeral? No. She's going to church. 
Dad. Church. Did you see this? <laughs> Fred Page. You look like a Pinocchio cowboy. <laughs> it's a good joke. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what I am to you, a joke? I didn't say that. You just said it. What? Don't put words in my mouth. What if I want to sing? Why is that so funny? I mean, maybe I'm good at it. The pastor of the church asked me to sing this morning. It's got to mean something. He asked you to sing for a living? That's what I'm saying. You need to find something you're good at that you can actually earn a living at because you're going to have to support yourself one of these days. Why do you even know? You've never even heard me sing. Well, that's not my fault. I'm singing this morning at church. 10 o'clock on radio AM 1080. Why don't you come watch no, me sing? I can't do that. Why not? No, I just don't belong there. Why? I just don't. I don't. Okay. Our boy barks. Oh, he's nothing but a big disappointment. Mm. I wish he'd never been born. Everything been just fine. All my That's problems a good impression. Hey, you put words in my mouth, I'm going to put a fist in your face. Yeah, I'm a little big <laughs> for that, Dad. Oh, you think it? Yeah. I think Is those days are over. Yeah. He's going to snap. I do. Yeah, yeah. Get away from me! Unprocessed anger in him. Or sadness. <sighs> Combination of things. Pain. Wow. Pain. It's bleeding. Uh, Are you okay? It's nothing, it's fine. Are you sure? We're fine. Mm. I don't know what to do because I want to help and they just won't let me. And I just feel like the more I try, it just kind of gets worse and worse. Pray for them. No one can live a life forever. Okay? Mm. I was just trying to get you to listen. What is going on with you? I'm fine. You're not fine. He's you got me all figured out. You push everyone away. Don't add me to that list. I love you. I've always loved yeah, well, you. I've never really loved you. Ooh. I mean, we're, we're graduating soon. You're going off to college. I'm chasing some stupid dream, right? I never said your dream was stupid. I mean, this has been fun. No regrets for me. I'm leaving. Shit. That's graduation. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm gone. Yeah, you want to push her away. She didn't do anything. We're making 90 bucks. Between the three of us, that's not hard. We have hard. no vocals. We got no show. It's impossible. Hey, hey guys, if you guys, if you guys need a singer, I'll sing. Wow, that's one of those coincidences in life, huh? Took every gig we could, and anywhere they'd let us play. Trace your steps to where you were before. Woo! Oh, there's Trace Atkins. Thank you all for being tonight. You have a good time? Yeah! I sure hope so. Cause that's all He's not pleased. Because when I was uh, 10, 11 years old, life was tough. He thinks they're amateurs. Yeah, he's, he's really tough. Not ready. I've always loved music, you know? And I found some songs that I just, man, I, I held on to. When they told me about it, a father in heaven that that wanted me, a father that loves me so much that he died for me. And I listened to these songs over and over and over and over again, and they gave me hope. You're beautiful. Replace the lamb for my first life. That last song really came from <clears throat> deep inside. Mm -hmm. You could tell that was different. Hey, Bart. Mm -hmm. hey where are you headed, man? We got Someone I gotta see, man. Who? Scott Brickman. Why was he here? Because I wrote him a letter every week for the past two years. You gotta go. Mr. Brickle, I didn't know you were coming. Thank you. Yeah, well, I did. Merry Christmas. 
And what's the name of your band again? Uh, it's Mercy Me, you know, because when I when I told my mamma that we were starting a band, she was like, Mercy Me, you get a real job. <laughs> <laughs> You're not ready. That's what I think. I don't think you found your song, found your soul, you know what I'm saying? Look, that last thing you did, that was that was special. Mm -hmm. Next gig, you should do that the whole time, the entire show. See how that works for you. Yeah, that's not the kind of music that we sing, though. Trust me, son, you have no idea what kind of music you sing. We write our own music. We don't just do covers. Well, then write something like that, and then give me a call. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. You, you got to go with us. We got two more shows in Texas. We got plenty of room on the bus. You tell me you want me to travel on that with you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Yes. Is this Shannon Street? Yes. Oi, that's gonna be interesting. Long time no see. You look great. It's a midnight part. What are you doing here? Oh, we just played a gig here. Um, I don't know if you know this yet, but we, we actually have a CD now. You're just acting like nothing happened. I'm going to bed. Oh, come on, Shannon. Hey, you gotta apologize. What are you thinking? Come in here like this. I don't know. I didn't really think about it. I just thought it'd be fun, you know? That's it? Only reason? Yep. Mm. I don't want to go on any more adventures with you. Yeah, you should need to apologize. You know, I want you to know that I pray for you all the time. I do. I really do. And I hope that you find whatever it is that you're looking for out there. She will not be joining us. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't she the smart one? No. <laughs> ain't she the smart one? <laughs> That is funny. <laughs> I'm always so impressed with bands and how they come together. It's just something so amazing. You can take different creative elements and create just, something. Just like making a movie, same thing, even bigger. That's true, bigger. that's true. Wait, what's bigger, the movie or the yeah. song? Oh yeah, of course. Lord, I can see you love it. Mm, amazing. Going. Back to Nashville. I've seen all I need to see. Plus, I need to make some plans on account of booking you guys a venue for GMA week. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yay! I'll get some record labels there. What I need you to do is pack the room, and then just do what you did tonight. Wait. So you like tonight? Don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> Who's he calling? Hey, this is Shannon. Leave a message. Shannon. Hey. Look, you said you uh, pray for me all the time, and I uh, we're playing this uh, big showcase tomorrow, and uh, dude needs to apologize. Yeah. That's all he needs to do. Ooh, Nashville looks so cool. Are you kidding me? This is perfect. I just need you to make sure this place is full. And bring the rain, gentlemen. Absolutely. Bart, we've got a little situation I need to talk to you about. Uh-oh, what's going on? So Bart, there's somebody I want you to meet, W. Smith. <laughs> Smitty, right? That's what your friends call you, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. I am like a huge fan from like all the, uh, sorry, like. Ah, stop being an amateur. Yes, you did. It was velvet. <sighs> Oh man. Amy Grant? What? Miss Bart, I'm oh, oh we're okay. Go give him the yeah. please. <laughs> you are like a yeah. superhero. We what? Right? We're yeah. hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this He's a diamond in the rough. <laughs> Let's do this! Room is packed. Mm-hmm. Wow. Thought it was good, right? It felt good. Yeah, it was good. Good. It was good, man. It was the best yeah. show we ever played. Crowd was into it. Hey, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a mistake. Is he for real? Hey, hey guys, gentlemen. Oh, and also, lady. Uh, guys, no nice Bart. to meet y'all. Thanks for coming out tonight. But I've been getting some good feedback from these guys, and I'm almost, I mean, I'm that almost awesome finished. Or what? I mean, don't y'all agree? I think we're pretty much finished up here anyway. Oh, come on. I want to know what you think. Wow. 
very unprofessional. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, kid, but um, you're just not good enough. Not yet, anyway. Oh. What? We packed the house, man. We've been selling our own albums for years now. I mean, what, what world are you guys living in? Reality. Look, you need to embrace reality, Bart. You're stuck. You're not good enough, Bart. Dreams mm. don't pay the bills. Mm. All it does is keep you from knowing what's real. Stop! Do you guys not get it? Okay, we've given everything for this moment. There's no plan B for us. I can recognize who's gonna make it and who isn't. And I gotta tell you the truth, Bart. You won't. How dare you Aww. say that? You don't even know me. Go yeah. home. I can do no, this. No, you can't. And you're gonna blink your eyes and you're gonna realize that you're nothing. And that life has gotten you nowhere because you chased some stupid dream. Wake up! Let me finish up. No. Here. Bart. No. This is... It's making it worse and worse. This is horrible. Oh my gosh. What happened? What'd they say? You just ticked off half of Nashville in there. What's he talking about? You know what? This is all there is? I'm done. What? And I quit. What? No. Wow, really? He's making it even worse if that's possible. Yeah. You just gonna quit? Is that it? I'm tired, man. I'm... Let me ask you something, Bart. What are you running from? Mm. My dad. At least he knows. He beat you, didn't he? You ain't got no poker face, kid. And I carry that. I have to live with that, you know? I always will. Then write about it. Stop running from it. Let that pain become your inspiration. And then you'll have something that people can believe in. Priceless advice. Mm. Don't quit. So good to have people like that around. Hey guys, uh, I gotta go home. But I'd really, really like it if you guys would wait for me. So we're still a band. No. Ah, uh, we're family. Mm. Okay. I love that. The band continued east. And I headed back west, hoping they would wait on me. Mmm, cinnamon rolls. I love cinnamon rolls. Hmm. Hey, Bart. I heard you come in last night, so I made some bacon and uh, cinnamon rolls and mm. uh, frittata. He's different. I just learned how to make. Probably found God. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of his illness or something. Mmm, yeah. I'm gonna say grace. What? Oh. Mm hmm see? Found God. No. He's different. God, it's me here. I want to thank you for answering my prayer. And uh, rub it up, dub, and thanks for the grub. <laughs> amen. Amen. Mm, amen. So you found God or something? Well, I've, I've been listening to some preachers on the radio and uh, uh, reading the Bible and whatnot. What part? The, all of it. You said God answered a prayer. What prayer? This is seeing you again. Mm. Well, Dad, I've been busy. <clears throat> yeah. I guess you noticed I've got a few projects going on around here. <laughs> and I got one out in the garage I was hoping that you'd help me with. What are you doing? Do something. I, I wrote you some letters. Did you get them? Yeah. Threw them away. Oh. Oh. Uh, I thought that's why you came back last night, huh? I was just trying to make a memory. That's all. Well, that's kind of hard for me to do, Dad. Because all the memories that we have together are bad. Mm. 
It's, I mean, I get both sides, but it's hard because I, I did, he's holding I on. I got a memory for you, Dad. That night you beat me so badly that I had to sleep on my stomach because I was so bruised. That tore me up. I, I cried that all night about what I did to you then. I cried too, Dad. In pain. All night. What am I going to do, Bert? I, I just... I want to make things right. You and me. And um, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to do it. Why can't he forgive me? I can't believe I came back here. Can't you give me a chance? No! You just got to give up on that dream, Dad. Because it keeps you from this. From knowing what's real. Threw it right back into his face. Oh my gosh. That's yeah, he's just as stubborn as his old man. Mm-hmm. Still running away, though. Yes. Wow, it's... It's... It's such a shame. Oh. He sees the cancer pamphlet. Oh, right. He never knew it was cancer because the dad just told him it was low blood sugar. Oh. Oh. Killing his car. And I want you to write these words. God, tonight, I choose to forgive. And I want you to finish that sentence. Now, I know it's hard. But if you have been forgiven by God, then he gives you the power to forgive others. Yeah, he... than never. What's that word? It's redemption. Redemption. Yeah. Hey, what is this note here? Right there. What's that? G. No. G. What, what's that note? C. Yeah. You got some competition now, boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they finished the project. I was listening, Bart. Mm, I knew it. I was listening to I you. I knew it. On the radio. And then you'd finish and then I'd listen to what they were talking about there at church. Mm. That's what saved me. Wow. I was real proud of you. You have a gift. Mm. I want to take care of you, Bart. And you get a check every month. So you can go chase your dream. You sing a song, son. It's probably going to be the funeral. Imagine what he's seeing up there. Oh, just imagine. Oh, his bus. Can I expand? Mm-hmm. They're coming for me. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going? West. A couple gigs in New Mexico.
God. You okay? Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be back. Man, I, uh, I haven't been on stage since I lost my dad. And, uh, I'm learning to deal with it. And, and I deal with it the only way I know how. And that's to write a song. Well, I'm going to sing it for you now. This is called I Can Only Imagine. Just those first three. Dee, dee, dee. Mm, they all know they have something special. Hey, hello. Mm. It's a career maker, and I know some songs can be real personal. Is this what you really want? My dad was a monster, and I saw God transform him from a man that I hated into the man I wanted to become. I guess I didn't think that God could do that, and so I wrote this song, and I want as many people as possible to hear it, and you can do that. So he's willing to give up his song. Nashville to pick Are up you the kidding me? Tour. And she shall sing it? Yeah. No deal. And he said, well, he was okay with it. That's what he wanted. Hey, Shannon. Um, I, think it is. I just wanted to call you and let you know. Uh, I agree. A new song. Apologize. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Shannon, I'm sorry. There we go. Finally. I know I hurt you over and over and over again. And I... I'm sorry I hurt you. There you go. That's all you... Hello? No. Sometimes guys just need to just apologize. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? I can't think of a better place to unveil Imagine. I hope I can do it justice. I wouldn't even feel right no. singing something like that, knowing it's not my story, you know? Is there anything you want me to say after I sing it? Tell him I wrote it for my dad. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. I can't believe it. I still think he's gonna sing it. There's no way that he's not gonna sing that song. Aw, oh, he's a he's in the audience like a just a Thank rando, you. you know? Just a fan. Thank you so much. Oh, this next song is really something special. I heard this song and it just blew my soul wide open. And you're the first ones to ever hear wow. it. This is I can only oh, imagine. Oh, don't. Come on. Well, she's going to sing it. I don't believe it. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it. It would not be right. It wouldn't be right. She's going to do the right thing. Bart, would you come up here, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the writer of this song is here tonight, and I want you all to meet him. Bart, come on up. <laughs> oh. This story is not my story. Exactly. It's yes! Not. In this moment, it doesn't belong to me. Thank you. It belongs to wow. you. This is for my dad. When you face to my knees will I fall? I have to cut out most of the music because of copyright stuff. That's nicely done. <sighs> uh. 
and how incredible for the people here to witness this. Yeah. I can only imagine if she would have sung it. <laughs> yeah. Not the same. <laughs> yeah, no. brand new song from a brand new band. In this week on the countdown in the number one slot. Have you heard this song? This song's gonna blow you away. This song already means so much to so many people. This is Mercy Me. It's called I Can Only Imagine. It's the number one Christian song in America. Excellent. Special, yeah. Wow. It's crazy because I knew the song um, because, you know, that was playing all the time, but I never knew the story behind that song. That's why they made the movie because that's, most people didn't know. That's very smart and yeah. very moving. It really makes it so much more, yeah. it means so much more. Absolutely. Even the words, as I'm thinking about them, I, it, it, I'm it's so much more impactful. It just shows you throughout life there are people giving you a piece of advice, you know, that and if you're open to listen to it, and ultimately it leads to God, you know, and like that country singer was definitely one of them. Mm. And like his yes. advice was priceless. It would be so amazing to have people like him, you know, yeah. you have, oh, to, have, just have, you to, have to have listen, people yeah. like him around Absolutely. because there's too many people who are saying things like, don't follow your dreams it's not gonna work you need a real job you know I've heard that you that's know, why those movies being are so arts. special because right but yeah. that's what I'm saying it's you know it's it's really powerful to have just even the one person who can be that voice Absolutely. to keep you encouraged so if you don't have that voice just know this I just feel like I need to say you can truly do anything that you put your mind to and if you know you have a call from God, you have to just keep pushing forward and don't let other people's naysaying voice be the thing that stops you. Because everything is, to me, everything is an assignment. Sometimes it won't make sense to the people around you, but it's because they don't, they didn't get the vision. You got the vision. So that's what I got from that. Amen. So powerful. Thanks for joining us for this yes. movie reaction and we'll, we'll see you at the next one. All right, bye-bye.